Hi, this is Cynthia, and I wanted to give you an update of the back garden. Now, this is the one spot that I do have um, things growing in the ground, uh, vegetables. I got some lettuce down here and some onions there. I just kind of put them in there because I want to use them kind of like scallions. And then you see I have this tomato here. And I know this one is a brandy wine. And here's another tomato. And I got down here basil. And then a little pepper plant down there. It's got a little pepper on it. I don't know if you can see it or not. So this is the only place that I really put stuff in the ground. Vegetables so far. And I planted uh, down in here behind this basil a rhubarb. And this year I knew that uh, next year it would get big. But I thought this year I would put it in here. But I don't know if that's dead. So if you know, comment down below and let me know. Is it supposed to be doing that in, in uh, well, we almost in August. I know it needs more room, but I figured this year I could get away with planting it there. And having this other stuff in there with it. But next year I was planning on letting it have it by itself. Okay, so let's walk over here to the pot garden. And I have extended this thing so much. I'm telling you, I have put in a lot of stuff. I'm just down here trying to straighten this flag out here. So just excuse me a second while I do that. Okay, well, let's look straight down here. I think it's beautiful. Okay, so we're just going to walk along. I'm not going to do a lot of talking because I don't want to make it so long for you guys. Purple potted pole. They're going to grow on this pole. And in that middle space, I just planted some more cucumbers. These pickling cucumbers here. And... There you go. I sprayed everything with neem last night. This right here is Greek oregano. And I'm not sure what this particular tomato bush is because I lost my label doing all the repotting. But one thing about all these plants, I all started them all inside except for the herbs. And these here are small because I came out here the other day and did a big harvest. I got three. Uh, boxes full of stuff that I harvested from this garden. I don't have a tripod yet where I can show you. So, and then over here, this cucumber. I got some work to do because I'm going to come out here and cut some of these leaves and stuff off of stuff that needs to come off. And this is my first sunflower I've ever grown. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> Love it. Yes, indeed. I always wanted to grow sunflowers and never did. And I'm showing you the garden before I even do any work out here because I haven't done anything yet. I sprayed this yesterday, but I'm going to come in here and cut all these yellowing ones off and throw them away. If you do this, do not put them in the compost. So, and you can see I got a pepper. Let's go in here and let you kind of see. I'm trying to show you the tomatoes in there. There they go. I'm pleased with what I'm getting out here. I got a lot of peppers that I harvested. These are kind of hard to see, but if you can see them in there. And I harvested. This is the stuff that I didn't harvest. I harvested quite a bit. And here's my watermelon plant. And I'm going to 
gonna go around here and show you. Look at all the melons in there. Okay. And so this is what it's looking like. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. And if y'all remember, I had asked about a blueberry. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys about it, but um, there's some peppers coming in there. But this is one of my blueberries. And across from it, I had another what I thought was a blueberry. Turns out it was a weed. So I pulled it out and stuck in a tomato plant that I had and a pepper here. Look here. Look down in there. See all my melons? And there's more uh, coming on there. I'm going to show you the eggplant in here. And then we're going to go over to the flowers. Okay, let's look down in here. Let's go. Got a couple of eggplants. I didn't think they was quite big enough yet. So I didn't harvest them the other day. And there's a whole big thing of tomatoes in there. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to stand back and let you look here. There you go. Now, this over here is new. I don't know if this was here the last time I did my video. I know there was a few pots. And I don't think I had all this. But I'm just going to walk through and show you. Look at the squash in here. So happy about that. I love myself some yellow squash. Look at that. These here are butternut. They got a little cleaning up that has to happen out here. I sprayed. Uh, neem oil and I also ordered some serenade um, from Amazon so I'm going to be getting some of that to put on there because I see it look like these little bugs like this like this that bug that's right there I don't know if that's a flea beetle or what that is but that's why I'm going to spray that serenade okay and this is parsley Parsley and peppers. I put another watermelon plant over here. Yep. Eggplant. Squash. They haven't done anything yet. A lot of this stuff has just been put in here. Like this whole pot. It's just been planted. And look, it's already got a pepper. So... I'm still working on this section, believe it or not. Okay, I'm going to try to undo this so you can see these lima beans. So, uh, I cover them at night because I don't want anything coming in here eating them up. So, this is my lima bean plant here. And so far, no, no lima beans, just new, a new planting pepper now just keep in mind that this is newly planted stuff okay there's some swiss chard and i didn't plant it from seeds these were seedlings that i had already but i'm just um i see how something's eating into this squash over here um so i'm that's why i got that other stuff coming serenade. I'm going to take this off so you can see. This here, oh, they're so good. This is uh, some type of Asian spinach type stuff. And I guess I heard it's like a real powerhouse vegetable loaded with nutrients and stuff. Nutrient dense. So I'm anxious to get, some, get it big enough where I can really harvest. I've tasted it. It's delicious. And here's the name of it. I'm going to put it up there so you can read it because I can't it's better for me to let you read it. There it is. Hold on, let me get a better grip. 
There you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a, a squash. And then these are, I don't know if I told you that was Swiss chard. Yeah. These are Swiss chard in here. And one over there, I just took the top off, but I didn't think I mentioned it's Swiss chard. This one here, another Swiss chard. I think I got another Swiss chard here. Here, let me get that off right there. And this is what I do to the lima beans at night, which I will unwrap that. I wanted to get a tomato cage and put it in there and then uh, kind of do it like I did those over there. But I just haven't gone to the store and got it yet, so I'm doing that temporarily because I don't want it ate up. So let me go over here, show you the flowers. Everything mostly gone bad. The yucca, echinacea in here. That's the yucca with the seed heads. I leave that for the birds. They love it. Uh, I got another day lily down here. And I'm just hoping it's going to survive. I've been watering it and trying to get it to do something. But it's not doing anything. But at least it's not dead. And these are all foxglove. These are foxglove here. And this is the tree peony. I'm going to trim off this. Take this and cut off these, and it'll rebloom for you. And then here's another day lily. Look how beautiful that is. Mm. They are gorgeous. And then this is my little rose bush, knockout rose. And it's got a little rose. The Shasta daisies have fallen over with all the heat and watering and but they still got some good ones on there. So when I finish, when they finish and they all look kind of, I come in here and cut them back a little by little and then cut them back and then sometimes they'll rebloom. This is what I do with the um, foxglove. I just take the seed heads, throw them in there and um, they will grow from that. This here is a Russian sage and it's not it's just a plant right now but it hasn't gotten any flowers but they're coming because if you look right here see that they're coming and they'll be that blue kind of pretty color this here is my Alabama Jubilee um, day lily it's so striking uh, it's, it's, it's gorgeous I really love this one. So that'll be going strong for quite a while. That's what I like about it. Look at the butterfly right there, y'all. Look. Gone. They love the echinacea purple cone flower. The butterflies do. Okay, so... Maybe next time when I come back, I'll have um, something new to show you. I've been trying to, I got my fountain uh, working, you know, plugged in and everything. Excuse this ladder right here. And, um, but I don't have it on yet because I, I usually put it on when I'm out here. And right now I bought a light to go up on this pole, but I'm just trying to uh, get it up there. So once I get that done, that'll be something new I can show you for next time. Okay? Let's walk over here. Got a rose bush here and the clematis. It was pretty. 
I'm hoping that it's going to get huge though. That's pretty new too. So, this row here has peonies, hydrangea, and roses in it. That's what's in this row. And then there's some echinacea over here. I put them all over because they like this yard. And they come back every year. And right here is a hollyhock. And that's something I put in from seed. I got a whole bunch of seeds of those. And let's see if we can catch this bee in here. Can you see him? Down here, I thought this was sunflowers, but you know what? I think this is um, either squash or pumpkin or something, but I'm going to leave it there. This is just a little baby uh, hibiscus here I found growing over there with my hibiscus, so I put it over here because I had this blank spot, so it'll grow up pretty. Okay, now, now let's go over here and look at this right quick. These are, let me take this top off here. These are some, I put that on that quickly last night and bugs was tearing me up. But those are right here. Sunflowers. I think it's the mammoth can that get real big. I stick them in this pot and, um, a little piece of parsley in there with it. Here's some more. I'm going to put some some stuff on it because something's eating on them and I'm not going to have that. I want them to get big like that other one pretty. This is mint. One of them's peppermint. One of them's mint. This here is sage. This is Thai basil. This is something new that I just put in these pots. I've never used these bags before. I got something I'm going to put in there. I haven't put it in there yet. But, uh, I got some seedlings over there. And, uh, I'm going to be putting it in here. I'm just mixing this around. I'm gonna, um, I got some stuff. I'm going to add some more dirt to that. I need to add some more dirt. But these are all beans. And uh, they kind of like string bean beans. And the name on there, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. My marker was dying when I was putting it on there, but I know what they are. And then this right here is a zinnia. Let me see. Right there. Right there. That's a zinnia, and then that's another zinnia, and beans. Over here, this is all, this one here, I'm trying to get it in the camera, eggplant, this Swiss chard here, eggplant, a zinnia, and this is a tomato plant. I'm going to put it up on a steak, but it's nice and strong. I'm sure it's going to do well. Okay. Let's go over here and look at the uh, hydrangeas in the um, This is my rose bush that was so pretty. I see that it's going to be blooming. It, it won't get that big bloom all over like it had before, but it will bloom again. Okay, so Echinacea. Okay. Now these are called Red Sensation Hydrangea. And they are gorgeous. They always this color. You don't have to play around with the dirt or anything. They just, this pink color, that's the color that they'll all be when they fully, now these are just starting to color in. But they will turn to this pink. Okay. And there's some uh, I tried to mimic in this walkway the same thing like 
roses, hydrangeas, and peonies. So both sides of this walkway have the same th thing with the echinacea on one side and I got some on the other side. So, now this knockout rose bush here. That's a cute little rose. That's pretty. All right, we're gonna go to the other side and look. And these are my last little seedlings. I know they look pitiful, but they got a good strong root system on them. These tomatoes will do well. I'm going to plant them up. This is some Swiss chard. This one here is eggplant. Swiss chard. Uh, make sure I got it in there. Yeah. And this here was arugula that went to seed. But I'm not going to do anything with that. But these here are eggplant here. I am going to plant those in those bags like I showed you. Now over here, it's not too late, so y'all can keep on planting. This here is some seeds I had that was like, right here, cottage flower seeds. So I'm going to let them get bigger, and then I'm going to put them in that big perennial circle that I showed you with all the flowers in it. But I'm not going to put them in that little because the bugs will eat them. I'm going to let them get bigger here, so that's the other one. Then this here, let me hold this up. This is the mammoth sunflowers. And I'm waiting on that stuff to get here that I serenade. I'm going to put that on here so whatever's eating on them can stop. And then I got zinnias there. And then this here is okra. These are okra plants here. Okay. Now that's my hosta. And it's in bloom. I hope you can see it. Because the sun is blinding me so I can't see if I'm giving you a good shot. And this one is a hydrangea. Here. And this hydrangea here, it always seems to get big but don't get a lot of flowers. So, at least it got, it's, every year it's getting more and more so I think it's doing better. Because I had moved these from the front a long time ago and they just getting acclimated to this spot. And then this is another hosta here. And I put them in here together because they like the same. Hydrangeas like water and a little bit of shade. These kind here. It depends on what kind of hydrangeas you have. And so I put them here. That's the air conditioning. Sorry. Um, so they both like water and all this stuff. So I put them here together. Oh, look at these. I hope it's showing you. I really do because these are beautiful. Okay. There we go. And something keeps coming out here every night trying to I barbecued the other night and it's trying to get up in my grill let me look nothing's in there but every night that pan is knocked out of there something's coming I do have a fox out here so it could be the fox but I like the fox because it keeps the rabbits and all that other stuff out of here Okay, now these are day lilies. Let me try to stand back so you can see on the side of the house. They need to be thinned out. They've been here for years and years and years. But I'm glad they're still blooming, but not as much as they could be. But they're pretty. Well, that's that. Let me give you a view this way. And there they go. And then we're going to walk over here to the hibiscus. And then that's where we're going to end the video. The hibiscus is just starting to bloom. So. I have a row. A whole row. Of hibiscus. I put here for some privacy. So. Hopefully you can see. We'll come over here and zoom in on some of them. 
and let you take a look. There you go. Here's a pretty one up in here. You can see that. I can't see what you see, but I hope you see it. And then here's a little, some cute ones right here. Let me uh, get that. Okay, so I'm going to stand back in this corner and hopefully you'll be able to take a look at the, the garden. And I thank you so much for watching. I shall see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.